pleased with uh, the intensity that our players played with tonight. That's one of the things that, you know, we've been harping on, you know, maintaining intensity for 60 minutes in the game. And uh, I thought we had good energy. And I thought we played with good intensity throughout the game. <clears throat> you know, we made a lot of great plays in the game, made a lot of very good plays in the game. Uh, obviously, there's always things that, you know, you want to improve on and uh, things that we need to work on. And we'll go to work on that. Uh, but this is something that I would like to build on, you know, for our team. Uh, I was really excited about the students staying for the game and cheering uh, our players. I, I know our players really appreciate that. I appreciate it. Uh, it sets up a tremendous atmosphere and environment, and um, it's really good for uh, everyone to see, including recruits that are here and uh, everybody that we have, you know, great support from the students uh, who, you know, we like to play for. You know, that's part of it. University of Alabama means a lot to a lot of people, and uh, we certainly want to represent that in a first-class way, and we appreciate their support. Okay, with that, we'll start with Nick. How have you seen the, the chemistry between Bryce and uh, Jaleel develop over the past few weeks? Um, you know, it's great. I mean, you know, Jaleel's a really good receiver, and uh, they practice a lot together, and, you know, Jaleel's been practicing really well. Um, so... Uh, I, I think that's something that, you know, we've wanted to sort of develop, you know, for our team this year. And we're excited about the way it is developing. And uh, Jaleel's made some really good plays and Bryce made some really good throws to him. Uh, obviously a big night for uh, Jameson Williams. Could you talk about his importance uh, to this team and also that his confidence and how he's adjusted to playing here at Alabama? Yeah, he's been great. Uh, he works hard. He's a hard worker. Um, you know, he's a great competitor. You know, he always wants to play on special teams. He wants to do as much as he can to help the team. Um, you know, he's a, I call guys like him. You've heard the term before. He's a dog. You know, he, he, he loves playing. Uh, he plays hard. He plays fast. Um, and, you know, he's got great speed. And I think that's one of the things that uh, we loved about him and getting him here was he complimented our other guys because he gave us a great vertical threat, uh, someone who could stretch the field. Not that we don't have other guys that can do it, but uh, he has a lot of experience. Um, obviously, you know, the kickoff returns two in one game was some kind of record, I'm sure. Uh, so um, he's dangerous back there. And I think that you know, JoJo had two great punt returns today, too, and they all both got called back because of penalties, which, you know, our players have to learn how to play penalty free. And uh, But Jamison has been a, a real plus for our team and for the receiving core. Okay, we'll go to Zoom and Michael Casagrande. Yeah, just wonder if you could assess the running game after tonight, uh, some big plays in the running game in the first quarter. What would you see from that? Well, we made some big plays. I think, um, you know, we broke some runs. Uh, I think our consistency in the running game is still something that, you know, we probably need to, you know, continue to work on, continue to improve. Um, you know, again, we played a team that moved a lot up front, and sometimes that gave us some problems. But for the most part, we got a hat on a hat, and uh, guys did a really good job. So um, I, I see progress being made. I see improvement. I think we just have to continue to build on that. We'll go to Aaron Suttles. You talked a little bit about Jaleel and, and what he did. But we've also seen Cameron Latu sort of develop this season. What do those guys bring, both him and Jaleel, bring to the passing game? And does it sort of make things easier for Bryce when you got big targets like that? No, I, I think that having tight ends um, that are c capable of making plays, you know, I've always said this, you've heard me say it before, that, you know, tight ends are – one of the best mismatch players you can have on the field because the people covering them aren't always the best guys. Sometimes they're linebackers, you know, sometimes, um, in, you know, a safety. So when you have guys that are capable of making plays in the passing game, I think it's a huge asset to the offense. And uh, Cam has really come a long ways. Um, he's got a lot of confidence. He's blocking well. Um, you know, doesn't make many mental errors. Uh, he's really done a great job of catching the football. He's always had really good hands. Uh, but I think his confidence has really improved. And, um, 
you know, he continues to make make plays. And I think it's important to us that those two guys are a big part of our offense. We'll go to Mike Rodak. What sort of progress did you see the defense make uh, compared to last week? Uh, I, look, I don't think the defense played with great poise um, the last 40 minutes of the game last week. I think guys got frustrated. I think they let the momentum of the, the game sort of get to them a little bit. Um, and, you know, I think the thing we did today is we kept our poise. We kept playing the next play. We competed well in the game. They did some things like always, it seems that, you know, we hadn't practiced in terms of a lot of the orbit motion and the options coming off of it. So uh, we made some adjustments to that at halftime. Um, you know, we played better. I still think there's some third down situations that we need to clean up and, and get better at. And obviously, you know, we were challenged uh, to a larger degree a week ago. Not that we don't have all the respect in the world for Southern Miss and their players, but, um, you know, we played against a lot of good players last week and um, they we, we, we didn't play as well as we want. And I think the players responded to it very well today. Good to D. Jackson. Coach, you talked about uh, responding from last week, and you said that you wanted your wide receivers to, to focus on getting into better space this week and causing separation. Can you talk about how they were able to break away this week and also Bryce's ability to find those soft spots on the field as well as even the interception, the perfect touch that he had tonight? Yeah, well, the interception certainly wasn't his fault. You know, hit the guy right in the, right in the chest and um, – Again, you know, we work on receivers catching the ball with their hands. Uh, we don't want them to body catch the ball. Uh, I think our receivers are improving uh, in terms of, you know, being able to get away from man to man. But again, you know, we're going to play against more challenging type defensive teams that uh, will challenge us in the secondary, challenge our ability to get separation. Um, one of the things that we do in practice all the time is when we practice against each other, we play man to man half the time for the very reason that it makes five one-on-ones. So people have to be able to learn how to separate. And I think that helps our players on defense, but I think it also helps our players on offense. So, but it's something that we're gonna to have to continue to stress and continue to work on. But Bryce does an outstanding job. He's very instinctive. He understands what the defense is doing. He reads coverage as well. And he, he knows exactly where he wants to go with the ball. We're going to finish up with Steve. Coach, when you were recruiting Roydell Williams from Hueytown, what did you see in him then that would make him a successful running back here? Uh, about the same thing you saw tonight. Uh, he's very explosive. He's got great speed. Uh, he's a good receiver. Uh, he's got power for his size. Um, we've always thought Roydell could really be a, a great asset to our offense and a change of pace guy because of the speed that he has. He certainly played well tonight. I'm not big when guys fumble and he fumbled in the Miami game. So that kind of set him back a little bit, I think confidence wise, but I think this game's a great game for him to regain his confidence and uh, make a contribution in the future.